It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. I'm joined by Chris, Real Ale 140. And I've got a beer here that we've already done two reviews today. But I wanted to keep this one last but not least. Um, it's the Balster Brewery Eclos Imperial Stout. 8.5% ABV. Uh, I know a few of you in Sweden have um, requested Chris would come on to this review. So here he is. We've dragged him from his house halfway across the valley. And we're going to... We had to walk and everything. He had to walk. I know he had to walk. And he couldn't drive his car. No. 8.5%. <laughs> Let's get it out into a glass and see what we get. Right. Let's get your glass. Uh, using a glass. Nice, big, thick. Yeah, I really like the glassware. I and mean, that's, that's a real premium product kind of glassware, that is. Wow. Look at that. <laughs> big, thick, viscous. Go on, have some more. I'll drop a bit in there. Go on. There you go. Right. And it, it, well, it's that. Oh, I got yeah, look I, at I, that. I got the life of mine. Look at this lovely branded glass. There we go. And that blackness, that wicked blackness, and that yeah. lovely coffee tan in the head. Yeah, it was a lovely. I, I, I like to call these Scandinavian style imperial stouts or porters. Mm. Great looking beer. It just looks all thick, doesn't it? It's like he's going to coach your palace. This is give you a sense of what that's doing on that. Oh, cock. I've just spilt some. No, it was a terrible, <laughs> terrible waste. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, it looks great. It looks great. Let's get the aroma. Jet black beer. I'm not giving it much away on the nose, is it? If you hold it there for a second, I think you get a kind of like raisins. Yeah, and... I'm catching the raisin. Yeah. Bit of chocolate, bit of coffee. You're getting yours right in. I think this yeah. head is on my nose. Of the course, head, yeah. The head is kind of. Yeah. Yeah, so I think it's more immediately apparent, but I'm in love with the head on this beer. Yeah. Everyone likes a bit of head. Look at that. I don't try not to spill. Look at how fantastic that looks. It looks like a bloody mocker or something like that. Yeah, yeah. Let's dive in. Cheers, Thanks everyone. Good. Oh, oh. <laughs> it's a die for, isn't it? I think I've just come. <laughs> <laughs> wow. <Whoa. laughs> it's the mouthfeel for me. It's it's almost like a like you've warmed up chocolate and you've poured it in your mouth. It's kind of sticking and sliding on your throat and yeah. Oh Jesus Christ! That. It's fucking amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it is. Absolutely. It, it's, I've coat, coated my whole face, and not just my inside of my mouth, but my whole face is like this. It's like yeah. smeared with like chocolate and cocoa and yeah. coffee and mm, maybe some butter as well, <laughs> just for good measure. Absolutely fantastic. Bloody hell. Really good stuff. I, Vanilla. You've got this... You got this wicked cocoa bitterness mm. right at the back, it's like chomping away there. But on top of that, you got that vanilla top of your palate there. But you've also got the fumes from the alcohol, not in a bad way, but just like really kind of blasting everything yeah. through. And you know, with the mouthfeel, just it just it's so viscous that I don't think it actually is viscous, but it feels like it's been viscous. It's yeah. coated. Yeah. Everything, everything now tastes of awesome. Yeah, absolutely. I, I don't have to say anything else. I think it's just been done. Um, that's the reaction I get from, from this style of beer. I think it's, it's a great beer. I, I get vanilla, chocolate, coffee, caramel, great mouthfeel, and a massive shot of an alcohol, but in a very good way, as Chris just mentioned. Mm. Yeah. Um, this might be the shortest review in history, but I think sometimes in life, there's always a downward spiral. And I think... We've said everything that we need to say about this beer already. It, it, it's amazing. I, but Bolster Brewery, yeah, you guys rock. Yeah, absolutely rock. Um, I don't want to have to share this with our wives. No, can we just keep it? No, we'll just turn the camera off and then just stand oh. in the corner of the kitchen and just drink this beer. Um, they they're in this the 
Swedish system where they sell their beers, but there's good news that the Swedish government owns the monopoly on beer stores, so yeah. they were only going to stock one of their beers. Oh. And there was uproar because it's such good beer that they've decided to stock five of their beers now. So, so, so great news there. But what um, if you can't get into stores in Sweden, please send the rest over to the UK. Send the rest to the UK because we'll happily drink it. Yeah. Anything, when you, anything else you want to add to the beer? I'm, I'm kind of pushing Chris into this review, doing it on his own, because it's been so blind that I'm standing here and I'm being entertained. I'm just, like, <laughs> I'm just standing here and it's a, it's a, it's a great review I, to watch live. If, I mean, if you were to try and relate it to a great, great experience. That first time you got a blue drop. This beer is probably as good as that. Yeah. I yeah. would say. You sat there, you're not sure what to expect. You think, you might feel great, might feel great. Yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> this feels really good. Yeah, I'd like some more of that. Thank you very much. Yes, please. Mm. Yeah. Great stuff. Mm. Bloody hell. Great I, I, can't, I can't, no. There are, there are no further comparisons, I don't think. No more words to com compare this beer, other than I'm going to rate this beer, so I'm going to give it a 10 out of 10. Yeah, I'm going to go 10 and a half. 10 and a half out of 10. Awesome square. Amazing. Absolutely amazing. Well done, guys. Brilliant. Thanks to Chris for joining me. I know a few of you, again, in Sweden wanted to watch Chris review this beer. Um, we've done it. Job done. 10 and a half out of 10, which is almost impossible. <laughs> and thanks for watching and cheers.